For the following exercises, determine whether each function is increasing or decreasing. All right. So remember what a uh, linear function looks like, all right? And the reason why I'm talking about linear functions is because I'm already looking at this formula and I'm saying well, that looks strikingly familiar to y is equal to mx plus b, right? f of x you can always just consider to be y. I like to do that. It's just easier. Technic technically, it's not correct, but quite honestly, who cares, right? We can think about it the same way. So um, essentially now, what I can do is I realize that one of these four terms represents the slope. Which one? M, right? M will represent the slope. Now, what's ever so important about determining whether a linear line will look like this or will look like this is based on simply the sign of the slope, okay? And I have a lot of, I have some facts down here under the memorize this section, right? I have if, if the slope M is positive, then the slope is increasing. If the slope is negative, then it's decreasing, all right? So basically what you want to do with any type of problem that's presented to you in this fashion, you want to make sure that the equation you have is solved for y. If it's not, do that first, okay? Then once you have the equation solved for y, which in this case we do, right? Because I'm calling f of x, y. Uh, then the next thing to do is to identify the sign for the slope, meaning the sign that comes before this number. Is it positive or negative, right? Well, it didn't give me a sign, so we assume that that's positive, right? That's what, that's what it means. If it were negative, it would be plugged in there. So basically now I know that the slope here for this equation is going to be a positive value. Once I know that that slope is positive, I know my answer, right? It is increasing. And that's that. Now watch how fast we can do the rest, okay? Here's my function. I hate this notation, so I'm just gonna call it y. y is equal to five x plus six. Now I say, is this thing solved for y? And yes, it is. Does this thing match then my mx plus b form? It looks like it matches it perfectly, right? So I identify the slope, which is this value right here. And then I just have to ask myself, what's the sign? It's not written in, so it's positive. So therefore, it's increasing. Easy peasy, right? What do you think about the last one? Well, now you might say, well, what are they doing? They're trying to, you know, trick me a little bit? A little bit, yeah. So let's write this out. Y is equal to 5 minus 2x. I'm just calling A of x, Y, okay? Now what I realize is I know that I want it in Y equals MX plus B form. But I know my x is on the right-hand side, but that's not a big deal, right? Just simply move it. Oh, you know, this is addition, right? If I had 5 minus 2, right, that's the same thing as, or let me do it this way. If I have 5 plus 3, that's the same thing as saying 3 plus 5, obviously. I don't know why I wrote a 3 there. Okay, they're the same thing. And it doesn't matter that it's a subtraction. We're basically, addition, subtraction have the same rules. So this is negative 2x plus 5, okay? Now... Is it in y equals mx plus b form? Well, yeah, look look at how beautifully this matches now. Right, so where's your slope? Looks like this. Oh, it has a sign, right? It has a negative sign. So what do you think this means? Decreasing. Voila. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Have a great day.